on RC the Hot, uh, please, uh, I want to appreciate all our followers, all our fans, all those who watch our TV channel on YouTube. Uh, please, I want to plead with you kindly, try your best to like our video whenever you watch, please. That's the only way you can help the work we are doing here. Also, try as much as possible to comment and also share our videos. Then remember to on your notification button so that uh, whenever we are posting news, you will be the be first to see it. Also, remember that we love you on this channel because if they are uh, without you, there will be no us. And without us, you will not be getting that correct information we'll be saying you need. All right, let's go down to the information as it is hot. Uh, of course, you know that um, Biafra land has been very hot uh, for some time now uh, with the issue of pleading for Mazin and the can release the issue of sit at home and also recently that the prime minister of the biafra republic government in exile declared a three weeks sit at home with uh, 6 a.m to 12 noon curfew let's go down and see the hot today this one an issue where we say a concern of hamadike one of ndibo mazi nam the kanu nam the kanu's attorney bruce finn renews call for his release Imagine uh, Nandi Kano's uh, attorney Bruce Finn, uh, his foreign lawyer, I think, uh, US lawyer, has started a new call for Mazin Nandi Kano's release. Of course, you know that there was a time it was as if everybody has forgotten Ohamadike one of Undibu. But kudos to the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Mazin Simon Eba, who has been on this journey making sure that a hero is remembered, even though in Africa, that people don't recognize heroes in africa they try as much as possible to kill the hero and allow his name to be forgotten but the names of our heroes past shall not be in vain bruce finn the international council of the detained leader of the indigenous people of biafra maz nandekano has renewed the call for his immediate release from over two years of detention in an open letter addressed in Washington, D.C. to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu yesterday, Finn called for immediate compliance with the order of the United Nations Human Rights Council Working Group on the arbitrary detention for Kano's unconditional release. In April 2022, the Federal High Court in Abuja, presided over by Justice Binta Mutala Yako, dismissed eight of the 15 charges against the Biafra Stationist leader. Also, in October 2022, a court of appeal headed by Jumani Sanki struck out the remaining charges and discharged Kano. However, the federal government has kept him under detention with Directorate of State of Security Service, DSS, while appealing the case with the Supreme Court. Kano was extraordinarily renditioned from Kenya and handed over to the Nigerian authorities in June 2021, which prompted the United Nations Human Rights Council to set up a working group to examine the case and issue due, due directives. Fain is capitalizing on the emergence of a new leader in Nigeria, Tinubu, to renew the call for Kano's release in the hope that the new government will be more agreeable to a peaceful settlement as opposed to former President Buhari's hardline stance. Fain told Tinubu, you confront a choice between becoming a firefighter or being the fire. The former would crown you with a possible Nobel Prize. The latter could consign you to Dante's safe cycle of hell as portrayed in his divine comedy. You would become a firefighter by immediately ending the criminal illegal detention of Nambi Kano as ordered by the United Nations Working Group on Arbitrary Detention and Nigeria's Court of Appeal over a year ago. The American lawyer accused the Nigerian government under Buhari's exemplifying lawlessness, including the illegal attempted assassination, kidnapping and torture of Nambi Kano before his recapture by the Nigeria state. According to him, on multiple occasions, the Nigerian government denied me the right to meet with my client or to be present in the courtroom to observe Nambi Kano's proceedings and to consult, but not to act as a licensed Nigerian practitioner. 
Nandekano is every bit or more leader of Biafrans as Nelson Mandela was for South African blacks. He pointed out that the IPOB's leader is fighting for a referendum to save his people from extinction. At the hands of Hesman terrorists and the Nigerian armed forces, adding that Kano and his group have the right to peacefully agitate for self-determination under international conventions. Urging Tinubu to chart a new course towards a peaceful resolution of the contention between Kano and the Nigerian state. Finn implored the president, history awaits you to do the right thing and end your place of pride on the score page. Uh, my people, and I don't see as it happen. Um, that last statement caught my attention. <laughs> uh, why it touched me? We say, uh, if he said to Pre uh, President Tunubu Bola Ahmed, said that history awaits him. Uh, but Finn, Finn was saying this thing based on uh, someone that was brought up on American soil, uh, someone that ate American food, drank American water, and um received american fresh air of course you know in america that um somehow somehow it's not that there are not some illegalities with the government or some forties with the government but at least uh, if i should say it it should be about uh, 80 20 uh, but nigeria the illegality here is also 80 20 uh, based on say that illegality is 80 and legality is 20 and as it stands now the way things are going I think it is ap uh, approaching uh, 90 10. The illegality is 90, and legal things are 10. <laughs> so, uh, Okafin, they talk about history. African man, no, they remember anything, whether they call history. Oh. An African man, no one do good thing. Well, let me not say African man, some Africans, some Nigerians, some politicians, uh, because Mazin Nandekano is an African, Simon Eba is an African, Nelson Mandela is an African. Uh, Mahat Gandhi is an Indian also, so uh, I think um, the thing is about individual, but looking at the things, the politicians we have in Nigeria, their name, Nakwekwekbi, <laughs> uh, you know, it's in the Kwekwekbi, uh, Kwekwekbi, na, na that goat, that's uh, uh, he goat, uh, where we say, he don't grow, can't get via via, can't get one big horn like that. Uh, if you put a rope, one draw and go market, you go the door, quay, 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 go the hiding in left for ground, you know, go one move, and that good that they call quick, quick, <laughs> uh, because before you go carry and go market, you go flog them, and I know as you be the way be the smell, the way that good they smell. If you try your best, carry them for your clothes, my brother, your own now, you. <laughs> you know, say if somebody look at you, tell you, say they smell like him be. Uh, my brother just know say that person hate you and uh, if the person no hate you if you check your well yourself well uh, just check your armpit with small style if you they smell uh, just know say they smell like you be <laughs> so what am i trying to say uh, the place i'm trying to touch light be say um nigerian politicians no no waiting be history oh. Uh, you could imagine just reach a, a recent concluded judgment in the appellate court between the the present uh, president, uh, the uh, People's Democratic Party's candidate, Atiku Abubakar, and also Labour Party's candidate, uh, uh, former governor of Anambra State, uh, Oga Pitobi, and uh, how the court went. Uh, Pitobi almost cried. <laughs> uh, you should also remember what happened to Abiola. Uh, the time where they had Osa Abiola, Abiola running in Lagos State and all over Nigeria, you know that uh, that was where justice was truncated uh, and um, justice was denied the man because he won an election. So the area I'm trying to point out to you is that uh, for Finn that is talking about history, uh, Tinubu to do something so that history can remember him. Oga, they know they're there. <laughs> they know follow you. They think about history. And are you where the America, they confine with you, got cheap. Uh, so that when you die, uh, the children are coming go say, oh, now waiting on that fin achieve. But for Nigeria here, forget them. The politicians where we get, waiting they look for the bag. Everybody chasing for the bag. Everybody chasing for the money. <laughs> you get one politician those days, uh, late uh, or Kadibo, uh, they say the man in home be saying they buy flashy, flashy cars for girls. And when he died, uh, around 2000 or thereabouts, my brother, the school he went to, Obunike Boys High School, 
He did not, as an old boy, he was not able to renovate the school, a whole senator, a whole uh, deputy senate president, a senate president. Then, you could imagine that, that was around 2007, between 2005, uh, between 2000, 2001, 2002, 3, 4, and 5, Okadibo was one of the biggest man, uh, but at his constituency, not even his constituency, his own village, he did nothing. So forget about uh, energy politicians and their history. They are not there for me, uh, history for you. Meanwhile, I still remember that I'm still with you. And in case not the first time, when you say the kind of body you uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. And also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, I will be the first one to collect. I'm catching the cable. I'm going to go and do. And I'll see you in a while. I'm going to go and do. I'm going to go and do.